Let us look at how to reverse a string in JavaScript. For suppose if we have a string called USA, once we run this particular function, it should become ASU. Okay, let us write the function. So the function name is reverse string and it will have one param input parameter which is going to be the past parameter like USA value will be coming in str. So I am initializing a reverse string as empty right now and I am going to loop through this particular string. So I am going to get the string character from the end of the so end of the string it will get the last character first And finally, we will return the reverse string. Let us try to understand. So, so this is the function. It is getting a string parameter. And initially, I am considering the reverse string as an empty value. So, in this for loop, I am starting, I am basically starting with the, I am basically starting with the last character of the string and string dot length is going to be 3 and uh, last character will be minus 2 so the index is at 2 and uh, so it will get the last character first then i greater than or equal to 0 that means this i want to iterate this particular string until the index value is equal to 0 so greater than or equal to meaning that it will even consider equal to that means it will iterate until the i value is going to be 0 and uh, i minus minus this is the every iteration once one iteration finishes the i value is going to be decreased so that means for suppose in the initial run the length is going to be 3 and 3 minus 1 is going to be the i value which is 2 value 2 and every time when I uh, uh, traverse through this particular for loop every time the, the index value is going to be decreased and it will start from A and it will end with U. Let us test and see. So now if you see the input value that I gave SIVA, this particular string is reversed. So let us write the code to check whether the a string is a palindrome or not. Palindrome meaning if you reverse a string or number, it should get the same number. For suppose if you reverse 11, by default it will come as 11 only. Likewise if you pass a string like this string, even if you reverse this particular string, again it will become SAS. Right? If this string what are the input parameter that we give if it is even after return reversing the string if it is e equal to the original string that means it is a palindrome let us write this particular function so it will get a string as an input and uh, initially first we need to iterate uh, first we need to reverse this particular string so i'm considering it as a empty string right now then i'll iterate from string from the last character Thank you.
equal to zero i minus minus log mu string plus So right now we are re reversing the string first before we check whether the reversed string is equal to the current string or not. So we are iterating from initially the string is going to be empty for suppose uh, if we are considering SAS okay we will get a string uh, here SAS and in this particular loop what we are doing i equal to string dot length minus 1 which is the length is 3 minus 1 which is 2 so we are starting with the index of 2 string of 2 which is s because array index starts from 0 0 1 2 so we are reading the last string and appending it to this one so that in in reverse so once we reverse this full string now we can check initial input parameter string is equal to the if these two strings are equal then then return yes it is palindrome string else return no it is not a palindrome string let's test this and see I'm giving like my name this is not going to be the palindrome because if I reverse it it will be avis let's clear this no it's not a palindrome string because if you reverse SIVA, it is going to be AVIS. Okay. Let's check with a different example. Now, see SAS. So the SAS should be SAS even, even after it reversing. Let's see. See now, yes, it is a palindrome string because if you reverse this string also, again it will become the same string. So because of that reason, it is a palindrome string. See you in the next video. Script code to find the highest number in a JavaScript array. So let's start with the function. I'm naming it as the highest number and it will get an array as an input. And initially I'm considering highest as zero. function okay so I'll for loop i equal to 0 I'll start with the index i i less than I'll iterate until array length and each iteration We'll move on to the next element in the array and uh, if if array number is greater than the highest number then the highest is going to be the array of i and it's time to return the highest let's check whether it is working console.log let's test this function highest number 
and let's just pass the same array let's check so the 10 is the highest number from this so let's see how we can calculate the factorial of a number in uh, javascript so to start with the function so which will calculate the factorial and it will get a input parameter as a number input parameter as a number to check if this is a palindrome uh, sorry to check if this is a factorial to calculate the factorial first let's check whether this number is equal to 0 because if it is equal to 0 there is no point of calculating it the factorial is going to be 0 only or if the number equal to 1 still when we calculate the factorial the num the value is going to be 1 so there is no point of calculating so then if it is not equal to 0 and not equal to 1 that means for suppose if, if the number is 2 that means uh, 2 into factorial meaning 2 into 1 if it is 3 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6 if it is 4 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 it will be 24 like the, likewise it should calculate the factorial so so to calculate so initial number into initial number minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 like likewise it should go so, so to get the so initially this number again we need to call the factorial and minus 1 because the factorial goes like this for suppose if we want to calculate the factorial for 5 it should be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so for that reason right now for suppose if, if this is a 5 into the next number should be 4 because 5 minus 1 okay so the number is going to be 4 um, and uh, when it will loop through it will loop back into this particular because we are calling this uh, factorial function again so it will have 4 since 4 is not equal to 0 or 1 again it will come 5 into 4 so the number is going to be 4 and again 4 into 4 minus 1 which is 3 likewise it will loop through and it will become like 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so let's console log and see whether it is correct I suppose I am passing factorial as 5 ok let me comment this So if you see 120 this is correct 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is going to be 120 number for suppose if you give 3 it should be 6 because 3 into 2 into 1 so this is 6 so this factorial is working see you in the next video Let's write the JavaScript function to find out the even numbers from an array. So let's start with the function. Let's name it like find even numbers and it will get the array as an input parameter. And I will just push the even numbers to as a different array. I'll, I'll initialize this array as empty first then i equal to 0 i less than the 
Harry Grant and Harry Lent and I plus plus. So here I'm iterating this. Now I'll get a array of I will have each value one by one value from this particular array for suppose if, if we consider this is array initially we will get two but how do you find whether the value is a even number or not we need to divide with the two if there is any number that can be divided with the two and the remainder is zero that means that is the uh, even number so to this is how we write the division and if this is equal to that's when I'll just push this even number to this even number array and finally I'll return the even number array so for suppose if we see this is the array so if number 2 which is first value is if you num if you divide this number 2 with the number 2 if the remainder is 0 that means it is even number like 2 4 6 and all and 3 is not going to be even number because it will have a remainder of 1 4 is a even number because the remainder is 0 5 is odd number it is not even number because the remainder is 1 and uh, 6 is even number because the remainder is 0 ok let's test this and let's take the same input and when we run it if you see the array that I got 2 4 6 which is 2, 4, 6, only these three numbers are even numbers from this particular array and let's try to modify this to find odd numbers in this, okay. So for the odd numbers it should be 3 and 5, okay. Let's change this to find odd numbers. Just all we need to change is if the remainder is not equal to 0 so if you divide a number with 2 and the remainder is not equal to 0 that means it is an odd number for suppose if you divide um, number 3 with 2 remainder is 1 right that means it is an odd number so remainder is going to be 1 so that particular number should be pushed here and let's change this to name also it's not going to be even number it's going to be odd number array okay now let's run this and it will find the odd numbers the odd numbers are 3 and 5 in this array see here 3 and 5 thank you see you in the next video